Good morning, Barnstable High School. My name is Kate Conway. Uh, I write as K.R. Conway, and I write the Undertow series. Um, if any of you have read it, you know that your high school is in it, along with most of those places on the Cape that you know and love. I am here today to hopefully convince you to come to a YA panel we have on March 16th. It has six awesome authors. They are very crazy, and they represent a huge variety of genres. It's at the Centerville Library from 6 to 8. Uh, get there at 6 because it is a panel, so you get to ask us all these ridiculous questions. They write everything from horror to urban fantasy. Um, I write paranormal, if you can call it that. There's historic fiction, there's contemporary. It's really cool. We have a great batch of nutty writers, and you get to ask us whatever you want. You'd be shocked what we say. Um, I am here to give a couple of ridiculously weird facts about myself. Number one, I never set out to be a writer. I was a forensic psych major in college, which is basically the study of weirdos that are in prison. Um, and I took and did my internships in prisons, and I really, really liked it. So that's my degree. But when I got out of college, I got grabbed as an editor, which was really strange to me because the people liked how I wrote, and I thought they were crazy. But then from there I got a lot of work as a journalist in magazines and newspapers. So I've been doing that for like 16 years now. And, um, and I went to Barnstable High School. But while I was at Barnstable High School, um, I hated reading. Which is the irony because that's what I do now is I write books. Um, I remember I couldn't stand having to read the Scarlet Letter. I'm like, so she has an affair. What's the big deal? And it it drove me crazy. I hated that book. But um, the cool thing about Barnstable is the English teachers did allow us to read some some really cool books. So I read um, Rebecca. I loved Rebecca, and I loved Romeo and Juliet. Um, I loved Book of the Dung Cow, and I loved The Great Gatsby. So those books really kind of piqued my interest, but I was still like, eh, I'm just going to read for the sake of the class. And then one day I picked up a book called Jurassic Park, and I think I was a junior, and I had chemistry, and I remember I was so addicted to the book that I actually would wedge it inside my chemistry book during class. That's a no-no, don't do that. And, and um, I loved it. I burned through it. It was so addictive, and it was the first Michael Crichton book I ever read. And from that point on, I read everything he wrote, um, loved his stuff, and then I started reading other people as well. And back then, they really didn't have young adult books. We just, we, did, we didn't. Um, and so, <clears throat> I guess the point is, when I started writing Undertow, which um, I only wrote one scene just for fun, um, basically to see if I, I could, and for the heck of it, and it's based on the sandwich boardwalk, and the story is that the high school seniors from Barnstable have a bonfire on the beach, and there are the two main characters that are in the book are um, there, and something confronts them, and the girl gets shoved off the bridge, and something drags her under the water, and she almost drowns. That's all I wrote. Um, a little more elaborate than that, but I put it on Facebook and the people that knew me as a journalist started begging me for the rest of the book and I'm like, what book? I didn't write a book. So I actually had to produce a novel and when I was writing Undertow I remembered back to being a, you know, high schooler at Barnstable and the books that I loved versus the books that I just couldn't stand. And that has always been the point of Undertow, to write an addictive read that's tough to put down, that you see your own self in, um, that's kind of your own hopes and dreams, and it's done well. So I'm, I'm hoping that it continues in that vein, um, but it's been fun to do, and the coolest part is now I work with teenagers like you a lot as writers. You guys are crazy. You have the best imaginations I've ever seen. So I work at Sturgis West all the time and the kids there are working on their own stories. Um, I guess basically the point is you don't need to be trained to be a writer. You 
just have to have the heart of a storyteller. Um, you can learn how to write. Anyway, I hope to see you at the panel, March 16th, Centerville Library. We're going to do giveaways. Um, six authors, ask them anything you want. And if you see me in the halls anytime soon, say, hey, are you that maniac? And I'll be like, yep. Anyway, talk to you later. See you soon. Bye.